Look at the front where it says Ames real big. People, my heart is broken. Normally, going to a place just to find out they're out of food is usually one thing, but this one really hurts. It's about jangles. And this one's closed. I don't, I don't understand. That's not fair. <laughs> But no, seriously, guys, uh, Bojangles is probably my favorite, like, fast food joint, you know, besides, like, Whataburger at this point. But, yeah, it, it, you know, when it comes to fried chicken places, KFC, Popeyes, even Chicken Express, you know, they don't compare to Bojangles, in my opinion. I mean, Chicken Express is really good. I really like them a lot, but when it comes to this, and Chick-fil-A is overrated, but I really love Bojangles, and I really hate seeing this go on. <laughs> anyway, let's go check it out. I mean, how dare they close these? This is actually the first one I've ever seen closed. You know, we don't have these around Pittsburgh. We don't have these in western Pennsylvania or, to my knowledge, Pennsylvania at all. I think there might be one or two way out in eastern PA, but the closest one to go to is in Winchester, Virginia. Why do you think I've gone there a couple of times? <laughs> Man, they took everything out of here. Seats, menus, everything. I even had to look it up just to make sure it was Bojangles. I figured it was, but I wanted to make sure. And what I found out was this one closed in October of 2018. So it's been a year and a half. Love the interior of it. They gutted everything out. Nice interior, though. Definitely will get reused. I definitely see something else moving into this. Another Bojangles would be nice. But, yeah, it hurts my heart. <laughs> I don't understand why they would close. Maybe uh, just a lease was up here or something, but it's their own like building design. That's how I recognized it too. Very iconic with the orange and like where the star is, the Bojangles logo would be right there. That or they just weren't doing so hot here, I don't know. I've messaged Bojangles a couple of times in the past pleading with them to open up locations in Pittsburgh, or at least closer than Winchester. I'd even settle for Morgantown, West Virginia. <laughs> but, yeah, I keep asking them to open up restaurants in the Pittsburgh area. They would do well. I know they would. And I wouldn't have to drive so far to go enjoy their food, because I, you know, it's rare that I get the chance to do that. But, anyway, Bojangles, if any of you guys at corporate see this video, Please open one in Pittsburgh. Make up for the loss of this place. <laughs> Going over to the garbage area. Not that there's anything in here. I like how you could just squeeze right in here if you really wanted to. Nothing in there anyway, though. That's all right, though. Nice, big, open lot. I'm the only one in it. They even ripped out the drive through Thing like where the speaker box would be, the, the menu board, it's all gone. I mean, look, look, this land is good to put other businesses here. There's a Lowe's right there, and they're packed. Yeah, this looks just exactly the same as the one in Dixon, Tennessee, that we stopped at on our way down to Texas. Is there any chicken left in there? Guys, is there any chicken at all? A bunch of dead bees, but I don't want those. How about some mac and cheese? Anything? Hello? 
bunch of lockers in there. Nothing. Dead bees. That's bull crap. These are menu boards. They even blanked those out too. What in the actual blank? It's the other window here. My heart is broken, guys. Bummer. No chicken for me. I just had the pimento cheese biscuit. I think it was the Cajun one or something with pimento cheese on it. Like, when we were coming back from Texas, we stopped at one in uh, Dixon, Tennessee. It was the same one we stopped at on our way down to Texas. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, wow, that, I mean, that sandwich was really good. <laughs> Made from scratch biscuit, Cajun uh, chicken. It was really good. So, but yeah, that's that's a wrap, I guess. No Bojangles for me. Yeah, even though where we are going for this weekend's little journey for a little weekend getaway, I'm going to be surrounded by them pretty soon. <laughs> so, it'll be fine. I'll have Bojangles later today. I will. You'll see. But from here, I love the outdoor seating, by the way, too. But other than that nothing from this one damn bricks even fell off I could take a piece of brick <laughs> as a souvenir <laughs> no nah, that's alright though but bummer man I mean look how nice this place is it couldn't have been that old it couldn't have been that old at all it's not like it's hard to get to. You just come up this little road here where the plethora of stop signs are at, and that's it. Rest in peace. What a shame. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that's going to wrap up our look at this poor, poor Bojangles. My heart hurts. <laughs> but no, seriously, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. And like I mentioned before, anybody at Bojangles Corporate Headquarters or whatever, open a location in Pittsburgh. Please. It would be awesome. I'll be a customer there. Anyway, Bojangles, open up a location in Pittsburgh, please. You know you'll have steady uh, service, or you'll have a steady customer in me. <laughs> so. And hotheads, if you're watching this video for some bizarre reason, open one in Pittsburgh too, please. <laughs> I wouldn't oppose to that either. Pittsburgh doesn't have anything cool except permanis and smiley cookies at Eaton Park. Which is why I want to be. I'd even take Whataburger, but no, Bojangles open up in Pittsburgh, seriously. If restaurants opened up in more states, they would have more business, and then you would see less abandonment. That's right. Now the hunt's going to be on to find an open one, like I promised. Anyway, we're going to take off. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like again. And, uh, well, with that said, take care. Stay awesome. Have a Bojangle. It's just day. I like that one. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Told you I'd find another Bojangles. I like this one too. It's unique. It's not like any other one I've ever seen before. So, shout out to the Mount Airy, North Carolina Bojangles. <laughs>